how you how yeah, they destroyed many, they destroyed your relationship with that guy. Yeah, so you know Dick Butkus, uh, one of the top five uh, NFL players of all time, according to some you know some things I was reading. Definitely top five defensive players of all time. Chicago Bear legend Dick Butkus. Look at him; he looks like Burt Reynolds right there in that third picture. <laughs> Yeah, he Beautiful was in deliverance, man. right? Yeah, so I mean, you know, growing up in Chicago and uh, my grandfather grandfather was a bar owner and a football player. So uh, Dick Butkus was a household name in my grandfather's house, you know, and um, I lived with my grandfather. And so, uh, you know, he was somebody that we idolized in Chicago. And, you know, the guy was a great guy. And so... Um, I was the Malibu correspondent for TMZ for three years. Mm-hmm. Uh, every single day I was in Malibu. Every single could not get out of Malibu. I was exiled to Malibu, but I broke the place wide open. I, you know, I found everybody. And so Dick Butkus was a regular at Ralph's. And so, you know, if I needed a clip of a football clip and there was a lot of talk about CTE with the, the passing of Junior Seau. Mm-hmm. And so CT, I think, is a great newsworthy uh, conversation to have. And Dick Butkus gave me this incredible soundbite where he said, uh, you, I was talking about the technology of football helmets. You know, I was like, can they design a new hel- helmet? And Butkus said, you could have a Bentley for a helmet, but if you don't have your neck muscles, it's all about your neck. He goes, when we during my era, and Dick Butkus was an outside linebacker, I believe, or inside linebacker one of the two i'm not a huge football dude either but he was a defensive end and so he had a lot of you know what seemingly would be trauma to the head from the years of, the, of playing football but he said that he, they worked on their neck muscles so he said like the the players of today need to work their neck so they don't have the spinal damage or whatever you know or their cranial that the, the neck absorbs a lot of the hits or whatever anyway they didn't care about that clip, okay? So it gets on the TV show for TMZ, and they're like, we got dick butt kiss. <laughs> and so everybody starts laughing like a like kids in a cafeteria, like yeah. 40 little like weenie bullies, like a bunch of, you know, the guy got bullied by in, in middle school, you know, yell, you know, 40 of them. Yeah. It's like, what the hell? And giving this man no respect whatsoever when, you know, he's a he's a legend. And he probably did a lot of community outreach and a lot of nice things for, you know, kids <laughs> and people around the world, you know. And uh, here I am, you know, talking to my one of my idols and he gives a great soundbite on a serious issue. And then TMZ TV show uh, takes it and just makes fun of his name. Who would name their son Dick if their last name was Butt Kiss? But it's actually Butkus. It's Polish, okay? Polish. There's a lot of Polish people in Chicago, so you're making fun of Polish people and their name, and you're making fun of this man who didn't do anything. So, yeah, I got that 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 aired and was published, but in a very negative way. Next time I saw Dick, who was I had a rapport with. We had a great conversation, and I wanted to be friends with him, you know? But I couldn't because Dick said, "Hey man, I don't watch your stupid show." But uh, I heard from my friends that you guys made fun of my name. Like, I haven't heard that before. And I can't believe that you took this conversation and you, you know, defamed my name again. You know, and he was so pissed off. He's like, I'll never talk to you again. Get out of my face, you piece of shit. And I'm like, God. I didn't do it. All I did was this. And I gave it to them because I worked there. And here you are. And, and then, you know, there's no... I don't know, man. They they never <laughs> understood you. Like you're you're working up a relationship with Dick Dick Butkus. Like when is he ever going to talk to a TMZ guy? Like he said, he doesn't even probably know what TMZ is. No. And then they just destroy the whole thing in one fell swoop. Look at right. he's he's smiling there, it there. He looks happy, you know. And then and that's just... yeah, that's what they did. He had no idea when I was interviewing him here. He had no idea this was just to make fun of his name. Let me let me just play this real quick. Let's, let's just see what. Let's take a walk down. There. You know what's also messed up? I see that one twenty four twenty thirteen. I have PTSD that, from this because you know, like him yelling at me and Ralph's. You know, you I was like PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> um, this was before 
TMZ Sports, I think, was its own platform. So it probably would have run on TMZ Sports, like the real interview that you got out of them. That's what's fucked up. If you had just got dick like a year later, um, it would have went better. But let's let's watch it. Why not? Let's go. Deck the halls with oh, wow. and Harvey. Happy I haven't Elton seen that. Christmas, everybody. The year's top stories. How can you get messier than that? TMZ's Merry Elfin Christmas. Watch it now on. I see that they spent our salary budget on those Christmas decorations. Yeah. <laughs> Hulu. All right. And Henry Week. How you doing, Mr. Buckus? Hey, look! It's the most ferocious linebacker to ever play the game of football. The one and only Richard Buckus. It's Dick. All right then, Dick it is. Hit it. Dick Buckus. Who the hell would ever name their kid that? Dick Buckus. We're surprised he's not in gay porn. It's Dick <laughs> Buckus. <laughs> And then you're like a legend. Wait a second. Now look, I'm sure I'm like, Dick. Yeah. I'm sure Dick Budkus isn't a homophobic guy, but he looks like an old school Chicago guy. And you're saying, "Well, I can't believe he's not in gay porn." Wow, I I never saw this, so this is actually shocking. Oh shit! That they had that, you know, man. I, I don't guy. think I, I don't think I've ever seen this either. I think I've just heard the story, so I'm I'm as blown away as you are. But let's keep going. Fuck it. You know what? We're 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 turn we're changing the narrative on Dick Butkus today. Legend, man. You you are a legend. Okay, right. he's a talker. <laughs> but before we ask any questions, we've got about 20 seconds to make fun of his name. And go! God, to go through school. Dick Butkus. No, you can name him any first name and it's still gonna be Butkus. It doesn't matter. Herman Butkus. At least. That does not sound better. <laughs> Amanda. Amanda Butkus. <laughs> I'm looking for Amanda Butkus. And now that we got that out of the way, let's see what's new with this macho wrecking machine. Oh my God, he's wearing the toe shoes. Dick so Butkus is oh. wearing the toe shoes. <laughs> The toe shoes are a deal breaker no matter what. No, those yeah, are dope. Yeah, he could snap you in half. Come on, he's Dick Buckus. We should respect him and listen to his words of wisdom, especially when it comes to the new generation of football players. I think the one thing where players are, and strength coaches are missing is building up the neck. That's a universal true statement. They don't focus on their neck. I actually have done it for about a year now. How do you exercise your neck? It's interesting. You lay on the bench and you go up and down like this. With How do you do it? <laughs> do, do it again. No. I want to <laughs> Not when we're talking about big buckets, I won't. <laughs> Gross. Thanks, Mr. Buckus. Thanks for your time, sir. Well, that was that was it. it. That yeah. was it. They destroyed the relationship after that. I mean, it was funny. It's funny, but he didn't have a sense of humor about it, and I under, I knew he wouldn't because he's a real serious guy. You could tell you could tell he didn't want to talk to me. I warmed him up, and then you know I thought I had a rapport going with him where I can get some decent clips from him, and you know pro probably ten clips over the course of years to come, and that was the one and done because you know oh man they salivated over butt kiss. I I'm just imagining I'm picturing his friends, poor guy. This poor guy. He's here. He's smiling. A picture of his friend saying, Dick, they said you were in gay porn. I know. I know. <laughs> and I know it's, I met his son after that real nice guy. Just looks just like him, you know. But yeah, Chicago legend, man. You go, he's a top five Chicago athlete of all time, you know, and that's up there with Michael Jordan and, uh, you know, Ryan Sandberg. Did you, uh, um, did great. you, did you tell, uh, Little Dick, uh, <laughs> <laughs> did you tell him what you had done? I didn't do anything. To, oh, no, I didn't tell Little Dick that. No, no, <laughs> I didn't tell uh, Dick Jr. What's his first name? I forgot his first name. I got his number. Should give him a call next uh, show and see what his dad thinks. But hey, fuck yeah, it. If we, let's get that Dick Butkus exclusive on this show. I mean, it was a funny name, but I didn't, I actually, I don't know if I was just stupid, but like growing up, I never really put two and two together that his name was like Dick Butkus and that was funny. Yeah. I just don't think that we, I, I don't know. I just didn't think like that, you know. 